This is my seven ultimate and must eats when you're coming to the Las Vegas Chinatown area. From the best burger in Las Vegas with a Japanese twist, and their crack fries are so good. To the best spot for a cheesy Korean hot dog, a delicious ramen noodle restaurant, and one of my favorite Thai and Chinese restaurants here in Vegas, and even Floyd Mayweather's father used to frequently visit these guys. To the best ace all-you-can-eat sushi and hot pot restaurant, let's get started. Hey guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. It's Dave Las Vegas and you're watching VegasEliteTV.com. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. But most importantly, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I post new videos. And here we are. Okay, so right now we're on Spring Mountain Road, which is home to our Vegas Chinatown area. And the first stop we're checking out is one of my favorite Thai and Chinese restaurants here in Vegas. And this is truly a hidden gem. They've been in business since 1973. It's called Kung Fu Thai and Chinese Restaurant. So their lunch specials are in the $8 price range. You choose your entree, your soup, plus one egg roll, uh, one Thai fried chicken, and your rice. So this is a freaking deal. And the lunch goes from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you get the best of both worlds because it's a Thai and Chinese restaurant. The owner is actually Thai and he has awesome Chinese food because he hires Chinese cooks. So this place is incredible. So next time you guys come to Las Vegas, you got to put these guys on your bucket list. This place is awesome. So now I'm going to show you all one of the best burgers I've ever had with a Japanese twist. The name of the restaurant is called Fuku Burger. And if you like burgers, this place will literally change your life. And that's because they basically took the American burger and added a Japanese twist to it. So it bumps these burgers up 10 plus notches from being good burgers to outstanding burgers. So the first thing you do is choose your burger. It's $9.99, so basically it's $10. My two favorite burgers is their Kanoko Japanese burger and their spicy Kyrie burger. Their spicy Kyrie burger, it's 100% premium beef, cooked medium on a signature fuku bun with pickled cucumbers, avocado cream, shredded cabbage, plus their signature habanero Kyrie sauce is mouth-watering. One of my other favorite burgers here is their Japanese style burger with shiitake mushrooms. Ooh la la. It comes with teriyaki sauce topped with pickled ginger and it's awesome. Their fries are good and you have to dip their fries in their famous crack sauce. You'll thank me later. So their spicy Kyrie burger is one of my favorite burgers here, probably because it's spicy. It comes with the fuku patty pickled cucumbers, avocado cream, shredded cabbage, and it's finished off with their habanero kabayaki sauce. This burger is incredible. And if you want to make it a combo, you save a dollar by doing it. You get your fries, your drink, and you got to try their crack sauce. It's life-changing. So I'm still in Chinatown going west on Spring Mountain Road to a restaurant called Manta Japanese Noodle House. And these guys stay busy. They specialize in Japanese tonkatsu ramen noodle soups. And you can customize whatever you want on your soup. Prices start in the $10 range. And this isn't your average ramen noodles at home. These are gourmet ramen noodles. So now I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurants here in the Las Vegas Chinatown area. Here's the video. 888 Korean barbecue. And what makes this place so great? They have a menu with Kobe beef items. So let me repeat myself. The basic menu is the Black Angus menu. It's $25.99, so 26 bucks. Not bad, ribeye steak. There's a lot of options here. But now, let's say you want to go premium meats. Then you want to do the next tier in the middle. It's the prime menu for $31.95. And that includes uh, salmon carpaccio. You can do pokey, oysters, shrimp tempura, you can do edamame, so you have an extensive amount of appetizers, plus you can do a ribeye steak, and that's pretty good. I love ribeye, so you could do a ribeye steak, you can do beef bulgogi, you can even do one item of Kobe beef, 
So it's one step above the other menu. But now let's say you want to go over the top. You got to do the Kobe style menu for $42.95. And this includes all the Kobe meats. You can even do their Kobe carpaccio, a steamed egg, shrimp tempura. So this includes all the appetizers from the other menus, including all the premium meats, such as Kobe beef, which is one of my favorite items they have here. They have also um, the Kobe brisket's pretty good. You can do a Kobe beef belly, Kobe fatty ribs. So this is a deal, $43 for all those premium meats. It's not cheap, but $43 is way cheaper than the Wynn Buffet. Now, we were celebrating my birthday. So we're here with Toby, her mom, and my oldest daughter, Asset. And we're ready to chow down right now, y'all. Wow, time flies. I haven't been back. I love this place, but my biggest problem is their customer service. Everything was good. The food was incredible. But the customer service was horrible. That's why, actually, I'd rather go to Master Kim's Korean Barbecue. But I will say the food here was really good. And actually, our first 30 minutes here was great. We ordered the first round of meats. As you could see, they brought it to the table. So it was a pretty good experience in the beginning. But towards the second and third time we tried to order our meats, the waitress was missing in action. So I basically wanted to show you guys all the meats before we throw it on the grill. But the money, that's the Kobe beef brisket. And that's the Kobe beef right there. That Kobe beef literally just melts in your mouth. It was really good. And when you go to a Korean barbecue restaurant, you got to try cheesy corn and their cheesy corn hit the spot. And even their oysters was delicious. My only problem was their customer service, but we had a great time. So we're still in Chinatown at the Shanghai Shopping Center to check out one of the best spots for Korean hot dogs here in Vegas at a place called Crunchy's Korean Hot Dog. So the prices aren't bad. They're in the 250 to 350 to 450 price range. I usually go with their mozzarella hot dog. Then you pick your toppings. And I went with their jalapeno ranch and their garlic parmesan. And when I say these dogs are amazing, these dogs are amazing. And I don't come here often because I'm on a low carb diet. But when I want to splurge, I come here. So yeah, I'm not a big fan of hot dogs, but Korean style hot dogs, if you've never had Korean style hot dogs in your life, it's life changing. Check these guys out. So now I'm going to take you all to one of my favorite hot pot and sushi restaurants at the Las Vegas Chinatown area. Here's the video. It's all you can eat hot pot, also called shabu shabu. It's called nabi all you can eat hot pot and sushi. So again, you get the best of both worlds. It's all you can eat, sushi and hot pot. And if you've never been to a hot pot restaurant, this place is life changing. You pick your broth and you could do pho, uh, sukiyaki, their nabi signature seafood broth. You could even do tonkatsu. Then you choose your meats. They have wagyu ribeye, short rib, lamb shoulder, uh, angus brisket. I love brisket. And of course, all you can eat sushi. So you get the best of both worlds. Their pokey is really good. And not to mention, it's only 30 bucks. So it's $29.99 for the all you can eat shabu shabu, as well as their sushi. They have unique rolls. They actually have less rice and more seafood on every single one of these rolls. Not to mention their rolls are fresh and they have a lot of unique and specialty rolls. It's located in our Las Vegas Chinatown area on Spring Mountain. So it's just a few minutes off the Las Vegas Strip. Well worth the drive because you could go to a casino and spend, God, 50, 60, 70 bucks for some sushi. Or you could come to a place like this that actually has authentic traditional Japanese all-you-could-eat sushi and shabu-shabu so you get the best of both worlds and not to mention it's a lot cheaper than on the Las Vegas Strip. So you might spend a little bit of money, go take an Uber or a Lyft. It's not going to cost much money. And again, what I love about this place, their sushi rolls is excellent, but you got to come here for their shabu shabu hot pot. And I just combined everything. They have Wagyu beef, they have brisket, and I just put it all together in one plate and just dive in. And of course, I'm a big fan of spicy edamame. It was excellent. And of course, you can even order oysters. Their oysters is excellent. That's why these guys are my number two favorite spot for sushi 
And just the fact that you could combine the sushi with the hot pot and their dessert is actually pretty good as well. Now we're getting down to my number one ultimate all-you-can-eat ace sushi restaurant here in Las Vegas. Hey, I love sushi and I can eat it every single day of the week. That's why this leads me to my number one favorite spot here in Las Vegas. It's at the Las Vegas Chinatown area which is just a few minutes off the Las Vegas Strip. It's called Sushi Neko. I love this place. And of course, the ambiance here is always on point. And not to mention, it's only $29.99. So it's 30 bucks for the all-you-can-eat menu. You pick whatever you want. Their sashimi is on point. And what I love about this place, their rice, is they actually have less rice, so a better ratio of more of the sushi seafood option. Like this pokey here, which is excellent. And that spicy salmon ham roll, excellent. That uri roll was incredible. And they even have rolls with fish eggs here. And of course, they have shrimp tempura and a whole lot of specialty rolls. And not just specialty rolls, they have unique items here. Hey, that salmon ham roll hits the spot every time. And if you like uri rolls, and this is exotic. This is what I love when I come to a sushi restaurant that has unique items like uri rolls. Their uri roll is excellent. This roll here is actually really good. In fact, anything with jalapeno peppers, I'm a lay down. But yeah, Sushi Neko is definitely one of my favorite ace all-you-can-eat sushi restaurants here in Las Vegas. Check out their pokey. It's unique. There's not a lot of restaurants that's doing pokey like this, but these guys do it right. And of course, don't judge me, guys. I'm using a fork again. Sometimes I'm going to use chopsticks, but sometimes I'm going to just dive in and pick up a fork and just eat. If you're like me, and you're a big fan of sashimi, you'll get your money's worth. Their sashimi is excellent. Their cheesy corn was incredible. Now, this is unique. It's a combination. I got the uni roll, the 300 albacore, and the eel. Ooh la la. So good, y'all. And their spicy edamame was awesome as well. And of course, you know your boy ate more sashimi. And we ended it with dessert. And everything was incredible, including their dessert. Okay, so we came, we saw, we conquered. We had a great time, but I'm out of here. If you're new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe to my page. But most importantly, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified every time I post new videos. And y'all have a great day. Thanks.